Hey everyone, Michelle here from Mickey Art and today um, I've had some questions on the comments on the um, other videos about how do I mix my paints and it's a really simple, simple process. Um, pretty much I get the paint straight out of the tube. I've just emptied my silver. I grab the flow troll. Now this is flood flow troll. Um, and for those of you in New Zealand, um, it is available in most hardware stores. I started off buying it from Mitre 10. And, um, and how much I put in? Meh. I just kind of pour until my hand stops pouring. Um, but that's partly because I'm willing <laughs> to know. Um, so everywhere you are, I'm willing to know how much of what is required. Will you destroy and create that, please? <laughs> So, um, and then I just mix the, the flow troll in. Every paint is different. Even the different colours within the same brand are different. Um, so it really is just a, ask the paint how much flow troll it requires. Um, the max I've ever used is 50-50. And probably 20% is probably the least. So, um. I just mix those together. As I was saying, um, I <laughs> um, I started off buying it from Mitre 10 because that's the closest, and then I they ran out. I went I went to get some more the other day, and they only ever stocked the 500 mils, and so I was oh, this one's nearly empty. So I went to get some more while I was on that side of town and they had none so I went hunting so I headed over towards Bunnings and when I our Guthrie Bowron is right next to Bunnings so I got this tug to go into Guthrie Bowron and yes they have it not only in the 500 mils but also in the one litre bottle and instead of 19.95 for 500 mils it was 34.95 for one litre like yay save five dollars whoop whoop and um, got into a lovely chat with the beautiful lady behind the counter who's also an artist and that was all cool and then I carried on into Bunnings and not only do they have the 500 mils and the one litre they've also got four litres OMG how does it what would it take for me to be painting that much and the one litre there was only $24.95 rather than the $34.95 at Guthrie Baron. So sorry Guthrie Baron, but we will be going to Bunnings next time. Um, so yeah, I add the flow troll and then I just, I've got this little squeezy bottle with a little um, screw up, screw downy type closed lid. And that's just got water in it and I just keep adding just a little bit at a time and mix that in and then if it needs some more add some more um, and it shouldn't go plop 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 like that so um, and just keep mixing. Now I've just mixed up some of this Decor Art Metallic um, Berry which is my brand new one and I'm going to play with that, that's really exciting. Um, and pretty much once I've got the flow troll in that you don't really need any water because it's already so runny. Whereas this Marie's Acrylic, which I haven't been able to find anywhere else so I'm sorry Marie's but I'm only buying New Zealand stuff. It's my target with my channel is only to buy stuff that I can purchase in New Zealand. Um, still a bit thick. And um, that seems to need a lot more and a lot more flow troll, a lot more water. Whereas when I was in AJ's Emporium they had this Chroma A2 um, which I've never used before, not in any form of painting, so that, but they've got the Thalo Blue Transparent, and if you watched some of my 
earlier videos, I absolutely adored the Marie's dark blue, which is basically a phthalo blue. And um, loved it, loved it, loved it, except when I tried to wash my paintings, it would start to come off. So um, when I couldn't find Marie's again, I thought, right, let's, what would it take for me to find a colour that I love as much as this and is more colour fast and it says light fast so maybe uh, and I have seen this in several different art shops still a bit thick and I'm running out of time so um, and that one hardly needed any water as well a little bit of water but not that much it was a lot runnier. There we go. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Now the other thing that I do, other than making sure my sides are nice and scraped, is um, allow my paints to sit once I've mixed them. And that just... allows them to play a little bit. So... I'll be back. Cheers. Water in there. That's better. Oops. And then we've got our fellow blue. Yum, 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 yum. And we've got our berry decor art metallic and I've got my white now <clears throat> because this is a test of these two new colors um, I am just gonna do a small canvas and I might even bring you a little bit lower and um, just so that you can When I bring it down the slope, I've got to make sure that I don't splash the camera. <laughs> so, welcome to my world. So, this is just one of those um, buy four for four dollars from the warehouse packs. Again, my little tuna tin. As you can see, this is one that I have had a painting sitting on as a footstool. And uh, I'm going to start off with some white in the bottom. Going to do a flip cup. Flipped in. <laughs> and then I'm going to I'm going to be really daring. Oh, I haven't got silicon in any of these. That's got to change. Okay. You know what? I'm going to Put a drop of silicon in there, and then now. So I know you're gonna ask, what sort of silicon are you using, Michelle? This is Durex Play, the perfect glide, um, and so it's dimethicone. And I'm just putting three little drops in each of those two because they've got quite a bit in, and that's not got a lot in, so. Gonna put one just apparently the less you stir the dimethicone in or the silicon in the bigger the cells check it out you can see you see those cells sitting on the top there with us so I love met metallics because they do that I'm gonna end up with a really really juicy big blob in there if I Leave that like that. All right, let's add some silver. Boop. Now this is feeling really, really thick to me. Um, do I want more white? Oh. But I have been wondering whether my paints are too thin, 
So this will be an interesting, oh, you know what this actually looks like it would be good at. Um, a, because it's not really mixing in the cup because it's so thick, I'm wondering if it would be a better circle pour. What do you guys reckon? Should I do a complete change face? Yes. <laughs> I can hear you. That's too much paint for that canvas, Michelle. I know. That's because we're not doing this canvas anymore. We are doing something else. I've changed my mind. And I might need to take you up a bit. We're going big, guys. We're going real big. This is a 40 by 50. So bear with me while I reset the stage. Okay, guys. Um, what I realized was I don't have enough white to do what I'm going to be doing now. So I'm going to give you a bit of a white mixing tour. I use the um, Fast Student Acrylic White um, just because that's the one that I can get in large quantities. I've been tossing up the idea of um, of starting to use that house paint like acrylic house paint and um, that's not quite come up in my world so this fass is what we're using at the moment the lady at AJ's Emporium that ordered in that had in the black two litre bottles of this has said she will order me some two litres of white which is exciting. Yay. How does it get any better than that? And you need to upgrade a bit from your little squeegee bottle when you're dealing with quantities like this because this is a milk, two litre milk bottle of container. And why am I mixing it in here? Because that way I can get the texture, the mixture, to the right consistency before I put it into my bottle. Um, previously you will have seen me do videos where I have gone, yay I just need a white background and then the white's so thick it's insane and it doesn't work properly. So I am choosing to mix it to the right consistency where I can see it rather than kind of guessing and hoping which is what I've been doing up until now. Uh, the black one, the fail one, number 20. That was my last straw. <laughs> How does it get any better than this? Um, you know, a saying that I've had for years and years and years in my world is um, Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is the measure of insanity. And I totally still agree with that. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good actually. I put quite a bit of Floetrol in this mix, so that's cool. Floetrol just, Floetrol just dries clear, so... Um, How does it get any better? Right, so we have a good quantity of that. And we have our can of color. And we have our giant canvas. Um, so I'm just gonna take you back up higher so that you can see what I'm doing. I have my pins on the bottom to hold it up off the ground, make it easy to pick up. Make it so you don't get drips and stick into your bottom. So that's 
that's that so let's just take you up higher oh my goodness me i just realized i have not been recording this is trauma drama terrible upset intrigue ah pock and pod so uh i have no idea um at what point i stopped the recording and you guys have not seen so uh i am so sorry that you missed whatever you missed and uh how does it get any better than that so for those of you that missed it this is the painting as it stands right now and i'm about to torch it i've just been covering up my edges um just do those last little edges I find that if you do the edges before you torch it then that creates a greater result um, where's my torch I'm feeling really stink now because I have no idea how much you guys missed go over like this is just to pop any air bubbles and to give the paint that initial warming you can already see cells forming so what I've used in here is the Durex Dimethicone So I've already got it over the edge on this side. I'm just going to tilt it back down away from me. I'm very excited about the transparency of this blue. That's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I find that a transparent dark blue does some pretty awesome things. So, all right. So, this was a um, a circle pour and um, I love watching Anne Osborne do this. Where she just kind of picks it up and sweeps it. That was a big pick up and sweep.
One of the things I've been working on with my willingness to be out of control is not having to have things symmetrical. <laughs> um, and it tends to be when I start to fiddle like this that I have to start. Nope, stop. You don't have to have three going off each side. Come on, pop and pod that. Get over it. So, okay, so truth, is this finished? Truth, does it require anything else? This area here doesn't sound very happy. Now, if you listen to any of my videos before, I am a consciousness facilitator and I talk to my paintings. I ask them, what would you like? What? What's going on for you? What would you like me to change? What, how would you like me to contribute to you being? And that's what I'm getting. So, I'll start getting. All of them need white though. Interesting. All right, that's saying it's had enough. It's ready to go. So, wow, it's very different. The berry hasn't come through as strong as I had hoped. If you turn it upside down, it almost looks like Australia. There's the bottom where Sydney ish is. Coming up around the Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, up to Cairns. Sorry, I forgot Tasmania. It's not in there. But <laughs> how does it get any better than that? Let me get you down and show you what we've got. Okay. So let's start down over here. You can really see the lines from doing the circle pour which is very cool and then you got some cell action in there and those little flip tops I don't know what to call them, flip tops sounds good mm. happy chippies really like this colouring here and I'm interested to see how this dries because it's metallic silver, metallic berry. I also really like this bit in here, that's very cool. And then it's a dark blue and white. So this is that bit that I did at the end there and I'm, I don't know, it put some interest into that spot. It kind of mixed up a patch that was looking a bit boring and would have probably ended up being quite shiny. I really love the, the detail. There's no way you could paint something like this without spending hours and weeks and months yet get such a 
One of my girlfriends was saying the other day, the, the thing she loves about these is it's like one of those Where's Waldo paintings where <laughs> there's so much going on. You could just spend hours and hours and hours. I reckon if you were meditator, a meditator, you could just have one of these sitting in front of you and it just totally zone out super quick. So there you are everyone, I look forward to showing you when this is dry, I'm excited to see what it looks like when it's dry, and uh, as soon as that is dry I will show it to you and we'll get this out. Alright, see you soon. So this is it dry. show you how it shimmers look at you there's the metallic shimmering it's very pretty I like it a lot so here's our tag on and as you um, probably know I have I usually do a tag on at the end of the video on making swipes from all the stuff that's left behind and with this one because it was a negative space and there wasn't a lot of runoff of colour just a few little blue drips um, it's not happened and that's cool um, but what I want to show you is something that I have been playing with and I don't really want to get that tape in there because it's bring you down and uh, I'm gonna have to peek. No, oh, don't want that wet, dirty. So what I've been doing is I've been dribbling what's left in my cup. Where are you? Over there. There. Into these pendants to create these lovely little. Where are you? There. These lovely little swirly things happening. And um, basically they fill, I fill them to the brim, just dripping them out of the tin. And when they're dry, they've dried like all the way down to flat, which is quite cool. Um, so what I've got set up here, these are earrings. Oops. I don't know if you can see that. Just, there we go. So I've got the earrings clipped into this clip, this bulldog clip, and I've got the pendant sitting. Why is it sitting on tape? Because the pendant hangs lower. So if you were to sit it flat on the ground, it would then be tilted. So then it would run and it wouldn't be cool. So I'm gonna. Put those like that and those like that and get the focus right because we have some paint left in our tin and I'm I'm a blue girl I really am a blue girl so I'm gonna see what what I can create in this So like a thought about putting some white in first. These earrings are not particularly Come on. 
you can fill up. You can do it. And then it's a matter of getting them to sit straight while they dry. What I'm doing now, I don't know if you can see, I'm picking up some of the white off the table and sliding it down the tin so it then creates something to push. that last bit of paint out. You don't want too much of the white. Ah, there we go. That's pretty cool. Um, quite liking it. It's different. Reason this tape is not flat. I'm going to take it around to another part. I hopefully, manage to get it to. What I'm going to do once I've got a few of these is um, once they're dry and they've caved back in again, fill them up with resin. Oddly enough, did anyone guess that? So there you go, this is what I'm playing with at the moment to, let's show you, those the earrings. And there's the pendant. So let's see how they dry. Alright guys. Catch you once the painting's dry. These probably will be dry by then too. So I'll be able to show you how they're gone. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.